Well, hello everyone, I'm here with another LEGO Star Wars The Last Jedi set review. Well, first one for the first, or last one for the first wave. And here we have the uh, first order Star Destroyer. So on the front of the box, here's the LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, the Disney logo, and all the mini figures included. And set number uh, is 75190, and it's meant for ages 9 to 14. It has 1,416 pieces. And then you flip to the back. You see it all opened up and all the features of it that you can do, and yeah. And on to the booklet. Same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. You get all the pieces included. Little promotional poster and it colliding with the resistance bomber. And then the first wave of Last Jedi sets, which I have previously reviewed, and all the main figures included with them. And the last building steps. There are some figures of this. So first off is another first order officer. So this with a gunmetal outfit. Has an, an interesting face printing and makes some good torso printing but no leg printing at all. And there he is from the back with slight back printing but no double side face. And next up get BB9E. Well same as he's been from the uh, Kylo Ren TIE Fighter set. And, yeah. and next we get First Order Shuttle Pilot. With a, with a the helmet piece, kind of similar to the ones from the last couple waves, or Force Awakens lines, but it also is. And also the uh, face printing, kind of the same as Death Star Troopers one, and all the like uh, torso printing, kind of the same. And there he is from the back, but no double side face. And then next up, get a first order stormtrooper, and this just about this as plain as any other. The helmet piece, angry clone face. It's nice to get for army building, and also get a stormtrooper sergeant, same as the other one, but with the white pauldron, unlike the ones with the red pauldron, the first wave of Force Awakens ones, but good, but all right additions to any army. And then the big draw of that is Supreme Leader Snoke, finally, as a main thing. If it decides to focus, there we go. You see, he has see, it's a nice gold touch and it's nice, good leg printing and great torso printing and interesting face, kind of reminiscent of the Clone Wars minifigs. But of course, they say in Clone Wars or anything, but it has but the regular style. On. And then there he is from the back with some nice back head printing as well. Okay, focus. There we go. Now to the set itself. This is boom. The set itself. So the angling of this pretty good detailing. So not much exposed studs like the Empire ones. But also good use of all kinds of but all kinds of nice greeble details like those like gold barish kind of pieces. Those end of flat stud pieces. Especially those things up there. And some nice cheese slope use. But also a few stud shooters, but unlike the last one, they don't rotate or anything. 
in the top part of it, which has one of those like as as you see there's a little ball joint to there. And it's on a hinge, which you'll see later on. And also which they have been doing for quite some time is a little handle that comes out so you can lift it and it's quite swooshable at all. Of which is a great touch. <coughs> and then on the back see all of these like those blue engine pieces. Almost like the last couple ones did. But it's like a few more ones added into it. And then there's one, the back part of it with one of those like teeth pieces in there, and also some of these, those flat tiles and all. And that to uh, the main feature of it. Just about like the last couple ones. Loop that up, and then out like so and then here's from the inside and there's a lot of the like like the main thing base pieces but except that the details are all stickers kind of quite unfortunate but also some of the chairs and all and there's another one a tile piece with a sticker on it Kind of captures it in the Force Awakens. And then you see there's some like little tiling kind of pieces used as a staircase and all. And there's representing the little monitors and stuff. And then we'll fit rotate around. Then got some sort of assistant droid near one of those like console pieces. And then got a little elevator piece with one of those column pieces. That when you push on the red thing, it makes it go up and down. And then got one of the, like holographic kind of pieces, like one of the last couple ones had. But probably to represent Kylo Ren, as is with Emperor Palpatine. And there's a little table to like sit some troopers and stuff on. And some little stuff. And we'll do a little comparison. So here it is. Oh, whoops. Yeah, compared to with. Imperial Star Destroyer stuff from like 2014. So, as you can see, it doesn't have the thing stick out, but kind of scaled down to look like it'd be much more massive. Oh, whoops. And also, how, and you can see it, the Empire one has spring loaded launchers, whereas the First Order one does not. Because why didn't they do that? I don't know. I wish they could have to give it some more play value and things. And of course, these do rotate and all. And the same handle and everything. But at least, get to see some different varieties that you might add to a collection and all. And so now, on to the, the final verdict. So we found it all up. So now on to the final verdict. So my overall verdict is that this really cool set at least well captures the original like 
Star Destroyers, but for the First Order and all. Bullies have waited for this set since, like, Force Awakens and all. But good that they brought this for Last Jedi. Then, of course, finally get Supreme Leader Snoke and BB-9E. But mostly Snoke. Because many people have awaited him since The Force Awakens. And if you got the, got the money to buy this, then go ahead and get it. Or if you... Or since Christmas coming up, then... Or if you're looking forward to The Last Jedi, then go ahead and get it. Or if or wait to have it for Christmas or whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.